Hi. As I was thinking of an art project for you guys to do at home this week, uh, I was thinking of doing some painting. But then I thought that maybe you might not have paint or paintbrushes at home. So I came up with a way that you can make your own watercolors. And here they are. So what I did is I filled an ice cube tray with water and then I put uh, drops of just regular food coloring, different colors in each ice cube. Um, and I mixed some of the colors. So I mixed red and yellow to make orange, um, blue and yellow to make green. And for the purple, I mixed red and blue. And then I put straws in them and put them in the freezer. And so then once they're frozen, you can take them out you have a little holder, and then this can be your paint and your paintbrush. Uh, so it's a pretty neat way, if you don't have paint, to make it at home. Uh, I would like you to ask your parents before you do this, because it does stain the trays a little bit. And uh, yeah, make sure you ask your parents before you do it. So I'll show you some of the artwork that I've created with that. Um, I'll show you some that my daughters did. My daughters were just kind of playing around like that. Um, you can get some fine lines with it. You can see this one, uh, fine lines, and some kind of more of like a watercolor wash. Uh, there's another one my one-year-old did, kind of just playing around with that. And a couple that I did, just playing with the colors, mixing things. And then a last one. Uh, for this one, to make it stand out more, I took a black marker and I outlined my drawing and then I filled it in with my watercolors. So as soon as you take them out of the fridge, they're going to be hard and they're not going to, you're not going to be able to paint with them until they melt a little bit. Uh, so wait, a, wait a little bit, uh, let them sit on the counter for a few minutes before you start. And these ones and you kind of just can just start rubbing to make a, like a wash if you want to color the whole page or if you want more fine line you can use the corner of the ice cube and get fine lines these ones aren't melted enough and you can get some fine lines that way if you can see what I'm doing so I would love it if you tried this at home if uh, you don't have paint at home and I hope you enjoy and try to do some artwork today. Send me pictures of your artwork if you do it. Miss you. See you.